Hi, this is Mark from the MACA team. We wanted to take some uh, time here and share our top six tips for storing and taking MACA powder. So tip number one, to keep your MACA fresh after opening the bag, store it away from direct light and out of humidity. You can keep your MACA in the fridge or freezer to prolong its shelf life. It's also fine to keep it at room temperature as long as you keep that bag sealed and keep it out of direct light. Maca keeps very well for about 18 months at room temperature, uh, sealed and out of light, and up to two years in the freezer. Tip number two. Maca is a food, and the natives of Peru eat a lot of it, up to one kilo of fresh maca every day, with absolutely no adverse effects. Now with maca powder, which is more concentrated, the ideal amount for most people for health and healing is one to three teaspoons of maca powder per day. You can t try more if you like, or a little bit less depending on your body. You just need to listen to how it feels. Uh, if you experience too much energy when taking maca, simply take less. We do have a great article on maca dosage on our website, so check that out for full details. Tip number three. The best way to absorb maca is to take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, mixed either in water or simple fruit juice. This simplicity allows the maca to pass through the digestive tract and absorb into the intestines much quicker. Alternatively, you can take it with food, um, either in hot or cold cereals, smoothies, protein shakes, even salad dressings and soups. We do have many recipes on our website to help you. Just find out what works for you and you'll be fine. Um, another thing to keep in mind is if you want a little energy boost in the afternoon, Take half your maca in the morning and half of it around 2 p.m. or so. Tip number four. If raw maca gives you any digestive difficulties, you might want to consider taking it with only a simple food like oatmeal or yogurt. Avoid taking it with fruit if it bothers your digestion at all. Also, you may want to look at gelatinized maca. We found about 5% of our customers have a sensitivity to raw maca, and gelatinized maca is much better for them. Uh, that's because gelatinized maca has undergone a process where the starch has been removed, which eases digestion and any digestive difficulties. Another alternative, if you want to take raw maca, which is typically more powerful, is to take raw maca with digestive enzymes. Tip number five, take a break from maca every once in a while. One day off per week or about five days off in a row per month is great for most people. This is uh, similar to the principle of taking a break from eating spinach, for example. We all know spinach and leafy greens are really good for us, but we just don't eat them every day typically. Give the body a break, let it rest from eating a high power food like maca, and then come back to it. You'll feel better and you'll be uh, happy that you did have this break because you'll feel the effects of maca more strongly. Tip number six. Maca has no not known side effects and no contraindications. But if you do take too much, you might get a jittery feeling or feel a bit wired. If that's the case, simply decrease your dose or take a break. Also, if you do have a hard time falling asleep in general, without maca, you should definitely take maca no later than 2 p.m. Uh, it does tend to help uh, to make people with insomnia stay awake longer than they normally would if you take it after that time. Finally, if you do have any questions or comments or concerns, please let us know we're here to help. Uh, just click on the link that you'll see below this video and um, we'll get back to you usually within 24 hours. We've got a 800 number and an email listed there, so feel free to get in touch. Uh, thanks a lot for listening to this video and watching it, and um, we wish you all the best. Enjoy your day and enjoy your mock-up.